In this video, we're going to be talking about the CSS inline and block elements. Now, this is a very important topic in CSS, okay? And we are also going to be looking at the difference between the CSS inline and block elements. So if you have gotten this far, congratulations, as you have finished the first series in CSS, okay? This is going to be the part two of our CSS series, okay? So if you have gotten this far, congratulations, you can start from here to start learning onwards because this is going to be our part two of our CSS, okay? So in this video, we're going to be discussing the inline and block elements, okay? Now, you can see on our page here, I have a header, a header element, a paragraph, and a div element over here. And I also have two images. You can see these two images over here. Now, what is a block element? A block element is our heading. Our heading is a block element. Our paragraph is a block element. The div is also a block element. Now, if you want to know a block element, a block element stack on upon each other okay a block element is placed in a top down order okay you can see the heading after the heading we have a paragraph and after our paragraph we have our div element so they are stacked upon each other okay they are stacked in the top down order but for now for you to know an, an inline element an inline element is an image okay an inline element is an image or a span element an inline element is stacked between each other. It's placed between each other. You can see this image, they are not stacked upon one another, okay? They are stacked in between, okay? You can see the, it is side by side, okay? It's not like the, a block element. For a block element, it is they are stacked upon each other. You can see over here, but for an inline element, they are stacked in between one another. So, in this video, we can also look at how to convert and we can also convert a, an inline element to a block element. And you can also convert a block element to an inline element. But converting a block element to an inline element is not really done. It's not really done. So people, they don't really do that. They normally, you normally convert an inline element to a block element, thereby converting an image into a top down order. You can convert an image to be on a top down order okay so that's what we are going to be doing in this video we are going to be converting an inline element to a block element which is this image over here so if you don't want this image to be stuck in between each other if you want them to be stuck on top of each other you can do it you can convert it to a block element okay so let's go to our css so as it is it, it's an image so say img Now, the property you use is display. You use display. And the value you use for this is block. And we have done this before. To convert an inline element to a block element, you use a display of block. So now, by doing this now, let's go over to our web page and refresh. Now, we have displayed our inline element as a block. So now, let's refresh. Now you can see they are stacked upon each other. They are stacked upon one another. You can see it's now converted to a block element. So if you want to convert an inline element to a block element, you can display it as a block. Okay. Now you can see this is a for the heading. The heading is a block element. The paragraph is a block element. The div is a block element. And the two images now they are a, they are also a block element. You can see they are stacked upon one another. You can see them over here. Now, let's go back to our CSS. Now, we can also, let's go back to the web page. You, we can also center this image, okay? Okay, if you, if you, you can't center an inline element, but you can center a block element. I want you to keep that in mind. You can never center an inline element, but you can center a block element. So, let's do this now. Let's go back to our, to our image. So, to center an image, we have done this before, if you can remember. In our past tutorial so you can you, you just say margin you say margin i feel left remember you say margin left and you set it to auto and you also come down you say margin i feel right and you also set it to auto 
so by doing this now we have successfully centered our image so let's refresh and now you can see the image is centered on our web page so this is how you convert an inline element to a block element you can see now we have our image centered on our web page so now let me let me just show you this now let's remove this display of block i want to show you something so let's just cut this out we have removed the display of block now if we refresh this now now you can see it's now stacked between one another so because it's no longer a block element since we, re we have removed the display of block so even if even if we do this margin or margin left auto and margin right auto it won't be able to center our image because we haven't converted it to a block element we haven't displayed it we haven't displayed blocks okay we haven't converted it to a block element so unless we convert unless you convert an element to a block element that is where you can be able to center it you need for you to center an inline element you need to display it as a block for you to be able to center it so that is it for the inline and the block element as you can see we have here so the, remember keep this in mind the heading is a block element because they are stacked on top of each other the heading is a block element the, our paragraph is also a block element the div is also a block element but the image keep this in mind the image is an inline element because you can see they are stacked in between they are not stuck they are not stuck in the top down order they stack in between okay so for you to convert an inline element to a block element you need to display block for you to be able to convert it to a block element and to center it you also need to display block and then you can use this you can use this and uh, these attributes and these values of auto so that is how you convert an inline element to a block element and that is the css inline and block element we're going to be discussing more on this inline and block elements in future tutorials but that will be it for this video guys i will see you guys in the next video